internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. Jeff Kanata is out doing another job for somebody else, of which we feel very jealous. But for now, here's your headlines. One of the best announcements out of Star Wars Celebration was not a trailer, was not a sneak peek at anything. It was a set of drones. We've shown you fan-made Star Wars drones, but these are official. Propel will be making these quadcopters available for purchase this fall. There are four different designs, an X-Wing, a TIE Fighter, a 74Z speeder bike with a Stormtrooper on board, and of course, the Millennium Falcon. They'll hit speeds of 40 to 50 miles per hour in the sky, are hand-painted, and even have little lasers on board to pew-pew your enemies. Propel says they also plan to add pre-programmed stunts to the in-app controls so you can finally recreate your favorite space dogfight from the comfort of your backyard. They'll cost between 200 and 300 bucks when they're released in the UK later this year, and hopefully we will hear when they're headed to other countries soon especially my country, because I want to buy one. Uh, if you guys have any interest in the human brain, which I hope you do because you all have one, the human brain map is about to get a major upgrade. Since the early 1900s, we've been using a map created by neurologist Corbinian Brodman to study the human brain. Soon, this map will see a big update, mostly due to the work of the Human Connectomy Project, which is an effort to update this important information through actual patient data and machine learning. The team involved took 210 healthy adults and collected information about their brain's structure and function, then fed that data into an algorithm that was able to mark distinct regions of the brain. This algorithm popped out 97 never-before-described regions of the brain, adding to the 83 scientists already knew about from Brodman's original map. Future use of this new map includes studies of human evolution and giving more information to neurosurgeons and other doctors who treat the brain, whether it's surgically or otherwise. So that is your headlines for this week. This is both exciting uh, in scope but we can only pick one for Thursday's show, and I feel like it has to be the new map of the human brain, because really, you guys, it's our brains. It's the most important thing that we have going on inside. So uh, I'm gonna say map of the human brain, and Jeff and I will be discussing that on Thursday's show. If you wanna get in on the discussion, why don't you use the hashtag HeyTD over on Twitter, and we would love to feature your tweets on Thursday's show. Uh, that is it for your headlines, so let's check out our photographer of the day. Our phone photographer of the day today is Anthony, who sent in this photo he snapped on his iPhone 6S Plus. He says, this is my dog Elu in her usual resting position. You have my permission to use these pics. And he says these pics because he not only has this picture, which he took with his iPhone, he used Prisma to change it into a beautiful painting. Uh, yeah, that looks amazing. I feel like I could see that in an art museum. It's gorgeous. And your dog Elu is adorable. Uh, that is our photographer of the day. If you guys want to do that, our theme is pets. We only have a few days left. Maybe we'll extend it. I don't know. We got a big announcement about the show on Thursday. So send your pictures to tomorrow at CNET.com and you got to include four things. One, permission to use your picture on the show. Two, what device you took your picture with because it takes me a while to look at your exit data and I'm lazy. Uh, three, tell me a story, preferably giving me your pet's name inside said story. And four, uh, make sure you tell us how to pronounce your name if there's any remote chance that we could mispronounce it because we would hate to do that. Uh, that is it for today's show. I will be back tomorrow. Uh, Jeff will be back Thursday, so I'll be here all week by myself. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of Weird Science Facts meeting science fiction. But until then, be good humans. Bye, guys.